What's going on guys? So as you can see here, I've got a bunch of PS4 controllers and games and over on the floor I've got some consoles as well. And in this video, I'm going to be seeing how much GameStop will give me if I trade in my entire PS4 collection. So if you watch my channel, um, I've done a video like this before, about a year ago, where I went online and saw how much GameStop would give me for all my PlayStation accessories, um, games, and consoles. And it came out to be about $450. Um, but now this is a year later, so prices have changed, I've got more controllers, more games, different games, um, more consoles. So I'm going to be seeing how things changed and you know how much my collection is worth now. Um, so basically, I've got controllers, games, a few consoles, look over here, a couple consoles, and even behind me I've got some um, PlayStation VR accessories and that sort of stuff. So we're going to see how much it's all worth. So if we come over here to my computer now, on the side, I've basically got this website. Um, it's basically the GameStop trading website. You can basically go on here, type in any game, electronic, console, or accessory, and see how much it's worth. So it's, it's pretty useful. Um, so let's go ahead and start with the uh, controllers. So I've got my Spider-Man controller, my white controller, my blue controller, and my um, uh, Batman controller uh, from the limited edition console. So let's just go ahead and Probably gotta go to accessories, PS4 controller, and let's see how much it's worth. All right, so you can see the white one right here. So twenty-two dollars for that. That's not that's not terrible. I mean, you can get a brand new PS4 controller for like forty bucks, so that's not a terrible um, trade-in value. Um, okay, so this one's <clears throat> also twenty-two dollars. So maybe they're all the same. They might be. Um, let's see if the next page has the blue controller and the Spider-Man controller. So I don't see the Spider-Man controller, but there's the blue controller. So blue controller is also $22. And so I'll say the Spider-Man controller is worth $22 as well, because that's probably the case. Um, so that's 88 bucks right there just for my controllers. And actually I have two more controllers right here, which um, these are the PlayStation Move controllers. Um, the, you can use these for the PS3 or you can use them on PlayStation VR for the PS4 um, and PlayStation VR is one of the things I'm going to be looking at later so $13.20 for both for each one so that's not terrible $26 bucks total um, I'm pretty sure those are only like 20, 20 bucks on the bottom in the first place um, so here's all my games so let's go ahead and get to these so I'll start with this stack so first of all I've got NBA 2K18 and I'm going to have to go back a couple times so I can get to that so games and NBA 2k18 I'm sure this is not worth very much um, since it's you know like a year old now let's see two bucks dang that's terrible two dollars for this game Whew. all right I'm not too surprised but only two bucks is crazy all right I'm gonna start trying to guess these values see if I can guess them so NBA 2k17 I mean, if 2K18 was $2, 2K17 is probably like $1. So let's see. NBA 2K17, PS4. It's worth 28 cents. Holy crap. That's even lower than I thought it would be. That's crazy. <laughs> All right, so this is Destiny 2. This game is actually unopened. It came with the uh, Destiny 2 bu um, bundle I bought with the PS4 Pro. And I just haven't played Destiny 2 because I don't really have much interest in it. But, you know, let's see how much it's worth. Um, probably like 8 bucks, maybe, if we're lucky. Oh, $1.65. Ooh, wow. I didn't think it was worth much, but that's even lower than I thought. All right, so GTA, GTA 5. So this game is probably still selling for 60 bucks. Like, honestly, it's crazy. This game has been out for like five years now, and it still sells for like full price. So I'm going to go with like $25 trade-in value. Oh, eight bucks. All right, maybe it, <laughs> maybe GTA 5 came down in value now. I thought it was still selling for full price, but if they're only trading in for eight bucks, it's probably not full price anymore. All right, so Uncharted 4. Or maybe I'm just giving too much credit to GameStop right now. Uncharted 4, I'm thinking like $2. Oh, I was right on the money. $2.20 pretty accurate all right so next up you got just cause 3 and I'm thinking this is like two dollars as well um, 220 wow so 
$2.20 is a pretty popular price I'm seeing. Let's see what else we got. Uncharted. The collection. Uncharted collection. I'm thinking like, oh, $4.40. That's, that's better than I thought. So the Uncharted 4 was worth $2, but the collection is worth $4. It's kind of crazy. So Infamous, The Second Son. Search Second Son and maybe it'll come up. Dang, this game's worth $3. Honestly, that's more than I thought because this game came out like a long time ago. I know it was one of like the very first PS4 games. Um, I actually haven't really played much of it. So we now got Watch Dogs 2. I know people always give Watch Dogs a bunch of um, crap, but I really like Watch Dogs 2. It's a pretty fun game. $3.30. Okay. I mean, I can see that. All right. So next up, I got Assassin's Creed Unity. Um, actually, as you can see, Creed... So, as you can see, I got this in a steel case, so I doubt they account for that on here. So it's probably worth like 50 cent. Oh, 220. Again, that's more than I thought it would be. Um, I mean, obviously $2 is not great for a game, but it's more than I thought it would be. So The Last of Us Remastered. Now, The Last of Us is a really good game, but it sells for like next to nothing now. So I'm sure it's like $2 as well. Oh, 550. Okay. A little bit better than I thought. I'm not very good at guessing these game values. All right, so FIFA 17, I'm going to guess 50 cents. I mean, this is two two years old sports games. They lose their value real quick. 220. Wow. All right. Not terrible for a 2-year-old game. It's sports. Um, so next up we got some we got some PlayStation VR games. So, Until Dawn and Rush of Blood. Let's see. Honestly, I haven't played my PlayStation VR in a while. I really need to because it's a fun thing. 440. That's that's not terrible because I think this game retailed for like 20 bucks or something. I don't know. I bought it like <laughs> two years ago and it was only like 20 bucks. I'm pretty sure. Um, Batman Arkham VR. Let's see. Now I know this game was like twenty bucks and it's a super short game, so four forty. Okay, that's still more than I thought it would be. Um, PlayStation VR demo disc. Now I, that comes with every game or every the VR the VR demo disc comes with every uh, you know VR headset you get. So I'm sure it doesn't it's not worth anything. So PlayStation VR worlds. Now I remember this game retailed for um, forty dollars when I bought it a couple years ago. I'm gonna go with four bucks. Three thirty. All right. Um, I can understand it. Uh, so now we got into our last home stretch of games before we get to our consoles, and we got Spider-Man. Now this game was just recently came out. I've been playing it a lot on the PS4. Um, really good game. Highly recommend it. I'll put a link to it in my uh, description if you want to buy it. Um, but let's let's see. I'm thinking. I'm gonna guess thirty-two dollars. Probably a little high. Okay, so it's twenty-seven fifty. I wasn't too far off. Um, I guess in terms of GameStop, that's not terrible. But honestly, if you think about it, this game came out like a month ago, and it's already down to twenty-seven dollars and fifty cent. So that's kind of crazy. All right, next up, I got this game called A Way Out. Um, I think it's a not a very well-known game. It's kind of fun. It's pretty cheesy, but it's like a multiplayer co-op, um, kind of like sit next to your friend on the couch and play 990 okay um it's not terrible because i think this game was not too expensive when i bought it um so next up we got uncharted the lost legacy this game just another uncharted game they're all fun um the lost there it is uh, i don't think i ever actually finished this game was it eight dollars and eighty cents okay I can dig it, kind of. Not terrible. Um, next up, we got Watch Dogs. And while I'm, while I'm typing this in, if you guys are watching this, uh, try to add up all this stuff. I'll try to I'll try to add up the total value I get from this video, but I'm not sure if I'll have time to add it all up before I publish the video. So if you guys are watching and want to know the, the total amount of my PS4 collection, go ahead and try to add it up, and I'll I'll definitely pin you in the comments. 
Um, but yeah, let's see. Watch Dogs. A dollar ten. Okay, yeah. That game came out of like three or four years ago now, so I wouldn't expect it to be too much. Now, ba Batman Arkham uh, Knight is a really fun game. Game Knight. All right. Um, so here we go for the PS4. This is a few years old. 220. Yeah, it's about expected. It's a few years old now. Um, next up, so we got two more games left. Alien Isolation and Fallout 4. Let's go ahead and search those two games. So let's see. Alien Isolation. Now, this is kind of a cool game. It's kind of like a, a scary game, but I never really got to play it too much. It's pretty fun, though. 440. Okay. Not terrible. I'm pretty sure you can buy it for pretty cheap. And now Fallout 4. Last game before we get to the accessories and consoles. So Fallout 4. Okay. I guess I didn't want to type it in. Fallout 4 is worth... Let's see. 275. Dang. Alright, well... Fallout 76 is coming out soon, so we can just play that. Nobody cares about Fallout 4 anymore. Alright guys, so got a couple accessories and then a couple consoles to do. Um, so this is PlayStation VR, as you can see. It's got the headset in it, and it's got this case. I'm not going to take it out because you know it's a headset. You know what it looks like. Um, so let's just search it under accessories, I guess. So, let's try PSVR. And... So it gives me the motion camera, so I can go ahead and do that because I have this camera right here. It's the old camera, uh, not the new one. So 15 bucks, um, not terrible. I mean, I think I got this. I think I bought it for like 20 bucks, honestly, when I bought it. Um, now PlayStation VR. So let's see if this headset will come up. So let's search VR headset. Okay. It's gonna be really weird if they don't let me like trade in. The uh, headset. Really? Maybe it's under consoles? I don't know, this is weird. You would have thought that. Um, you could. Okay, here it is. Yep, yeah, it's under consoles. So $70. And eh, yeah. I mean. This thing doesn't, I mean, I think you can buy this thing new for like 200 bucks now, so $70 is not, you know, that's about what I expect from GameStop. And honestly, it's like a, it's a pretty well-used item if somebody uses it, so I wouldn't pay a ton of money for for that used. Um, now, let's, let's check out the uh, carrying case as well, because I know that thing's pretty nice. I would assume they might have it on here. I'm not sure, though. Um... No, I'm not seeing it, so maybe not. I'll say they take it for five bucks. Maybe we'll get lucky and get five bucks for it. All right, guys, so we're almost to the finish line. Got uh, a few more consoles left. I'm, I'm actually only showing two consoles right here, um, but I have another console, too, that I'm going to um, type in. I just don't have it with me right now. It's the uh, Batman Limited Edition PS4, just original PS4. Um, so we're going to see how much that's worth as well. So got my white PS4 Pro, Spider-Man PS4 Pro, and then Batman Limited Edition, um, just PS4, not a PS4 Pro. So let's start with a Batman PS4. I don't remember how much this was worth when I tried trading it in like a year ago. So 150. That's that's not too bad for I mean a, an original PS4. It's probably because it's a limited edition is why it's worth a little bit more, I would assume. So now let's look at the uh, the white PS4 Pro. This was the uh, that came in the Destiny bundle 240 okay um that's not terrible i probably sell it used for like 300 bucks um and let's and i know they sometimes they have like trade-in deals where if you trade in a console you can get more money towards another console yeah if you trade in to get 200 dollars credit towards the purchase of a new xbox one x when you trade in the xbox one so that, so they got some pretty decent console deals um so no, last but not least we got my spider-man ps4 so let's see how much that's worth. And it looks like they didn't even have it on here. That's kind of lame. Because honestly, this thing was... They'd probably pay a premium for this thing because these things are limited edition. You can't find them anymore. 
So I'm going to say they pay me, I don't know. Let's just go with the same thing they said here. So 240, 250, maybe a little bit more. Let's go with 300 maybe. I don't know. Um, but they probably play a decent amount for it if I try to trade it in. So there you have it, guys. So you saw all my games, um, games, accessories, um, consoles, um, and then my PlayStation VR. So I got a lot of stuff, probably not as much as some people out there, but I think it's worth a pretty decent amount. Um, like I said earlier, if you have the chance, go ahead and count up how much all of that was worth. Um, off the top of my head, I'd probably say around $800 or so, just mainly because these things are worth um, a, a good half, at least half of that. Um, maybe even close to a thousand dollars. I don't know, but we count it up. If if you don't see it in my description, that means I didn't have have a chance to count it up yet. And go ahead and post it in the comments, and I'll give you, I'll pin you. Um, but yeah, guys, thanks for watching. Let me know if you like any of my PS4 collection, or you want to see more of it. Um, I've actually got so a little secret. I showed you two PS4s here, and another PS4 I have. I actually have like four more PS4s, so I have like seven or eight total PS4s. I might do a video on that one day. Let me know in the comments if you want to see that. Um, but yeah, that's a weird situation. But yeah, thanks for watching, guys. Hope you liked it. Make sure to leave a like and comment and subscribe. And thanks for watching, guys. Hope you have a great day.